are you into side hustles uh, do you want to do side hustles do you want multiple sources of income are you worried if you will just have one source of income uh, are you worried that if you're fired from your job you may not have any source of income do you have all these questions queries or comments well then you are in the right place because today we are going to discuss uh, 10 astrological indications of multiple sources of income in a chart okay so now uh, before i discuss this you have to understand that nowadays uh, there are many people uh, i cannot say in percentages but they have uh, at least two sources of income so that could be job then uh, they're in earning through rent from real estate commercial or uh, residential then they could be earning money from stocks dividends uh, or uh, through capital gains long or short term or uh, through cryptocurrency also sometimes or they could be uh, earning through some uh, they, they might have their own business or be self-employed you know so or they might write a book you know they could make some videos you know they could do consultations there are so many ways people might have two or more sources of income so um, nowadays in 2023 uh, you will find uh, very less uh, people who have only one source of income but uh, many people are nowadays asking that will I have more than one or two or three okay so here I have 10 sources of income so the more the number of these factors you have the more the sources of income you will have okay of course it doesn't mean that if you have two factors uh, then you will have two or if you have 10 factors you will have 10 sources of income no it doesn't mean that but in general you can understand more the better okay so welcome to exotic astrology ladies and gentlemen if you are new to the channel then please subscribe and uh, if you want a consultation from me regarding your career then you will find my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you are new then please subscribe and like this video at the end and put your comments please all right so what is the most powerful this is this is the the the, the, the most powerful which is the presence of five in your date of birth okay so there are five there are three ways by which you can have five okay so uh, one way is you know you have you just have five anywhere in the date of birth okay like you see here first may 1990 uh, 2nd uh, september 1958 so you could be born on like you know uh, 5th of january 1991 or uh, anybody born in the 1950s or anybody born in like 1985 75 65 95 okay um, so this is one thing now or the other way uh, is if your basic number basic number is your uh, the day alone okay so some of the day basically so if you are born on 5th or 14th or you are born on 23rd okay so that's called basic number which is you know, also uh, very good uh, and uh, rather than having five randomly if you have five as a basic number it is more powerful or if your destiny number which is your sum of your date of birth is five okay so for example here 16th uh, november 1949 there is no five the basic number is also one plus six which is seven but if you add all the numbers you get five okay so this is uh, the most powerful now why why do i say five because in numerology <coughs> five actually represents money okay so whoever has five uh, here in the date of birth or even better if five is in basic or even better if five is your destiny number then uh, your ability to earn money is very good you can sense uh, where you can earn money from you somehow also find more avenues to earn money okay and one thing i have not mentioned here along along with five if you have other numbers like uh, nine or uh, yeah three then it becomes even better but uh, nonetheless even if you have five and among that if you have destiny number as five then it is exceptional okay so quick tip here if you feel you are not able to earn money well you know if you are not able to 
go to the next level you know if you have some friend who has a basic or preferably destiny 5 you know if your friend uh, or relative or anybody then and if they're around 30 35 or more uh, then yeah you can take their advice you know they will tell you uh, 10 ways to earn money okay <laughs> they are very good at doing this so please uh, take this hint and I, i'm sure you will you love me for following this later on okay you will thank me later <laughs> <laughs> okay and by the way all these are there in my instagram page uh, so if you have not followed it then please go and follow it you will find the link in the description also okay number two second indication second six tenth and eleventh houses now uh, the second sixth and tenth are artha houses i have also mentioned 11 here 11 is not a artha house but why i have mentioned here is because it is labhasthan it is gains okay artha houses uh, second sixth tenth eleventh connected to mercury what does it mean connected to mercury it means if mercury is in these houses second sixth tenth or eleventh or the second lord sixth lord tenth lord or eleventh lord is aspected by mercury or is sitting in mercurial signs like if they are sitting in gemini or virgo or they are conjunct mercury okay so for example um, if you are suppose uh, you are which should i take suppose you are an aquarius ascendant okay and uh, you have jupiter mercury conjunction then it is very good because uh, Jupiter is your second lord and now Jupiter and Mercury are conjunct and Mercury is also so in point number one uh, number five is the number of Mercury in numerology right we all know that so if in our horoscope the houses of wealth are connected to Mercury and the more the better so for example if uh, Mercury is uh, especially connected to the 10th or 11th then it is even 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 better or if, if both you know sometimes mercury as the 10th lord is sitting in the 11th or as the 11th lord is sitting in the 10th okay then it is like uh, 10x 10x better and this can actually work also if uh, mercury is lording these houses but now of course there are many ascendants where mercury is the second sixth tenth or eleventh lord uh, but just um, by lordships it may not work but mm -hmm. if the lord of the second house is not mercury and then that lord is connected to mercury via uh, conjunction or even by an akshatras okay then uh, wow that is that is exceptionally good you will always find this working so by by nakshatras does not mean by uh, lords placed in mercury nakshatras like revati uh, for example it doesn't mean that uh, but uh, what it means is that <coughs> if uh, the nakshatra lords are also in these houses and somehow mercury is involved with the nakshatra lords uh, then then it is even better okay uh, so nakshatra is like next level that will be a bit uh, more complicated to explain here maybe i can do that in some other video uh, but nonetheless uh, if somehow these lords are related to mercury or mercury is in these houses the best is 10 and 11 of course uh, then exceptional like uh, very good very good very good the more the better okay and also if these houses are connected to each other even if they are not connected to mercury okay so for example the second lord is in the sixth or tenth or eleven the eleventh lord is in the second sixth or tenth even if mercury is not involved even then this is also very good but if along with that if Mer mercury is involved then it is like uh, exceptionally good okay okay number three lagna lord and sun connected to the third house in the bhav chale chart okay now why third house why lagna lord first of all why sun see lagna lord represents your bent of mind okay your focus basically just it does not represent literally the mind that is the moon but your lagna lord shows where you are focusing on 
and third house shows your uh, courage and creative self expression because um, it is the 11th from the uh, fifth house of creativity so that mm. is very express that is why third house is you know hands courage social media you are expressing yourself basically <coughs> so when you do this then what happens is you have a natural bent of mind to try out different things and you know try out new things you know and if sun is associated so for example if you know lagna lord and sun are conjunct in the third house for example or the lagna lord and the third lord are together somewhere and sun is aspecting that conjunction either ways you know either ways if these three planets are connected <coughs> then there is name and fame there is popularity because there are so many people who may do so many things but uh, sun will explicitly give name and fame uh, which means you will also earn more money now if mercury is involved in this then also you can get money but if sun is involved you may get like lot of name and fame and if both sun and mercury are involved wow that is like gold and if this is there in the navamsha also then you will get more and more and more income it's like never ending it will not stop okay have you seen some people irrespective of their age you know like of course not when they are 100 years but yeah i mean they are always earning money somehow or the other okay so if the navamsha also has this then there is exponential name fame and uh, there is like Uh, good knowledge from the previous lifetimes in regards to those hobbies and those expressions okay so if you have this congratulations now this is very 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 important panch mahapurush yoga in the 10th house connected to the 5th or the 9th what does this mean panch mahapurush yoga occurs when all the planets uh, except sun moon rahu ketu if these planets the remaining five planets they are in the own sign or mool trikon or exaltation in the kendra houses 1 4 7 10 then panch mahapurush yoga occurs okay so for example for cancer lagna if jupiter is in the first house because first house is a, a kendra and a trikon and jupiter is exalted in cancer so own sign mool trikon or exaltation and in the kendra okay so if there is a panch mahapurush yoga occurring in the 10th house which means 10th house has one of the five planets and they are either in own sign exaltation or mool trikon exaltation is the best of course but that is not all that is not it that is only 50% but there should be a connection with the fifth or the ninth which means suppose your fifth lord or the ninth lord itself is one of these five planets which is involved in the mahapurush yoga in the 10th house or maybe there is a mahapurush yoga in the 10th house and the fifth lord or the ninth lord is aspecting this or maybe the fifth and the ninth are conjunct with this planet uh, which is having mahapurush yoga in the 10th house okay then that is exceptional and of course among the two if there is a connection with the ninth house there is even better income see why why uh, why why is this yoga very important because see panch mahapurush yoga will give you some name fame okay but if the fifth and the ninth lords are involved then it is it's a part of your inner nature that talent is getting expressed in a bigger way that skill is getting expressed in a bigger way and along with this uh, i have not written but if mercury and sun are associated it will be like uh, 10 times more okay the name fame so for example uh, if jupiter is in sagittarius in the 10th house so it's he's in mool trikon and mercury is also you know maybe uh, whatever involved okay and along with the mahapurush yoga if mercury is there and also mercury is uh the fifth lord or the ninth lord then it is like 100 times more okay so the more the involvement of mercury the more the money okay more the multiple sources of income number 5 parivartan yoga among the lagna lord and the 10th lord oh boy this is this is this is unbelievable 
so parivartan yoga means the plan there is an exchange okay so the first lord is in the tenth and the tenth lord is in the first this can also occur if the lagna lord and tenth lord are conjunct anywhere in the horoscope this can even occur then okay so first lord tenth lord are sitting in the third house fourth house fifth house sixth house eighth and twelfth are a bit uh, risky uh, but but adding to this if they are sitting either in the first or tenth itself so lagna lord and tenth lord are sitting in the first house together or they are sitting in the tenth this is the best yoga for politics and uh, name fame this is the classic yoga for politics okay and adding to that if they are the eleventh house is associated then this is like this is like yoga for a king basically and of course uh, if there is exaltation or mool trikon you know then it can yield better results okay and this is not literally uh, exceptional yoga for um, multiple source of income this is a yoga for extraordinary fame and with fame you know there will be multiple sources of income you will get advertisements and you you will have brand deals and also that will eventually bring money so in this yoga if surya is involved then it is exponential rather than mercury you know with mercury's involvement there is not much help in this yoga but with surya's involvement it is like it is like 10x okay number 6 conjunction or mutual aspect of the 10th lord with the 11th lord best yoga for passive income so in the horoscope if 10th lord and 11th lord are sitting together anywhere or they are aspecting each other or they are in mutual parivartan so 10th is in the 11th 11th is in the 10th or uh, one of them is aspecting one of the other okay so 10th lord is aspecting the 11th or 11th is aspecting the 10th but the other one is not aspecting the other even then this yoga of course this is undoubtedly the best yoga for passive income and as i said if in this sun or mercury or if both are involved then again it is like 100 sources okay now why because the 10th house is the house of uh, exponential wealth gain because it's the house of name fame and the 11th house is the house of profits okay so when the 10th and the 11th are, are somehow linked uh, there is exceptional rise in a person's profession and in this the person may have lot of passive income but it can also happen that the person has just one job but it is paying you more than like you know five other passive incomes okay or you may not do job at all with this yoga you may have like some big rental income in the fourth house and shani mangal saturn mars are involved then you will have humongous income from real estate it's like uh, you, your i mean it's insane you know if the fourth house is connected i have always seen fourth connected with the 10th 11th and uh, if the eighth house is associated even better maybe <laughs> because then you are getting all by inheritance okay but this is hands down the best yoga for passive income exaltation of the 10th lord of the d1 in the dashamsha chart very careful read this again exaltation of the 10th lord of the d1 in the dashamsha chart not the 10th lord of the d10 okay this is the so so you see your lagna chart see your 10th lord okay so for example your 10th lord is jupiter let's let's take an example in your d1 okay and then when you go to your dashamsha chart your jupiter is in cancer okay so your jupiter is exalted in the dashamsha chart as the lord of the 10th house of the d1 chart and then if there are other raj yogas raj yogas are combinations of the kendras and trikonas in the 10th house this could increase profits in business because if the lagna if the 10th lord of the d1 is exalted in the d10 then this gives uh, exceptional confidence and then the person has the courage to experiment different things and then uh, it is but natural that uh, this person will earn through many sources of income okay and if the rajyogas are involved in d10 or in d1 well uh, exponential 
and again in this also the same principle applies if somehow mercury is involved then well exceptional okay sun or mars in digbala in the 10th house somehow connected to mercury or 11th or 3rd now what is this see sun and mars are planets of leadership they are uh, they are visionary planets because they represent agni which means they can see the future what is a visionary who is a visionary visionary is one who has a vision for the future right so if you have sun or mars of course i have written sun and mars but this could also work for either sun or mars in the 10th house literally in the 10th not lording so if surya is in the 10th or mangal is in the 10th and connected to mercury so let's assume sun mercury are both in that in the 10th okay it's like a buddha aditya yoga excellent in the 10th house superb or uh, sun and jupiter are in the 10th uh but jupiter is the 11th lord or jupiter is the third lord even then this will work okay and if sun mercury are in the 10th and mercury is lording the 11th or the third then well again exceptional and among sun and mars if sun is placed in the 10th then it is even better but even if mars is placed it it can give you because you have extreme managerial capacity you can manage different assets okay very good very good very good sun in the 10th mars in 10th connected to mercury or 11th or third lord super so third house is again you know experimentation and 11th house is gain and mercury is literally the karaka for multiple sources of income number 9 atma karaka lording or placed in the 10th house why is this an indication of multiple sources of income because this shows that uh, money and income has perpetually been a very strong focus of your life from many many lifetime so if you have this then uh, it is but natural that you have been running after money from running behind money from many many lifetime so uh, then you make money right uh, because you do something or the other, other at least number 10 an exalted planet in the 10th house aspected by jupiter please read again 10th house has an exalted planet okay aspected by jupiter now 10th house is the house of name and fame and grand earnings and there is an exalted planet which means there is very high confidence and then on top of that there is an aspect by jupiter so what happens if jupiter aspects whenever jupiter aspects something he expands it so jupiter is expanding the confidence and the uh, it's radiating the power basically okay and jupiter is also the karaka for optimism and uh, achievement so if you have this an exalted planet in the 10th aspected by jupiter then uh, you you can get lot of awards recognitions you know all the fancy stuff you know all the paparazzi stuff and then that can increase your uh, that can give you multiple sources of income okay and of course there are many other things you know mahadasha antardasha is also very important that i have not mentioned here that's the bonus and of course all other planets are also important so it doesn't mean you know saturn venus or moon uh, uh, are not important you know ketu is not important rahu is not important it doesn't mean that but if these combinations are there and then you have all other supporting combinations and more of more the better then you will like you will make money and when i say money not just you know some peanuts but you will make serious money significant money and maybe you can uh, become a millionaire in this lifetime okay or maybe who knows be before 30 before 40 before 35 you know maybe depending on these combinations and there are hundreds and thousands of other combinations which we can discuss so i would love to know from you in the comments uh, please write down what have you seen in your experience okay
all right ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for your patience if you like this video then please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed and if you want a consultation from me regarding your profession you can find my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him